Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Andre here with Xenomorph.com. Today, another Hot Toys Iron Man release. This is Blue Steel Mark 30 from Iron Man 3, another suit in the House Party Protocol line. So this will be a short one. Um, it was just released uh, before Chinese New Year, um, about I think two weeks ago. And basically it's a repaint of the Silver Centurion suit. So let's start out with the nice and shiny box. Here we go, so it has a Hot Toys exclusive sticker on it, but um, basically it's just a repaint of a Silver Centurion suit, so for me it's not really an exclusive item, it's not really limited more than any other suit, I think. But uh, what they uh, did on the box is really nice, there's a lot of great usage of different blue tones and silverish colors uh, chrome scheme going on and here on the, on the side it has this nice blue text so it really fits the tone and the overall character of the blue steel suit so i think there was a bit of discussion on the number that they used for the 30th suit i mean the silver centurion is the mark 40 uh, 33 and this is the mark 30 so basically this blue seal should be an upgraded version of the silver centurion but it has a lower number so that's a bit weird but anyway let's go to the figure itself all right so let's have a look at blue steel out of the box this is actually my first blue colored Iron Man. I know that there's this Iger monster suit that you could get, but I never got that one. So this is basically the first blue colored Iron Man suit in my collection and it's definitely a nice one. So if you want to mix up your collection a bit with uh, some blue colored uh, suit, this is definitely a product to get for. Then let's go first to the accessories. There's not a lot to talk about. What I left in the box is actually the rounded um, stand with the or base with the dynamic flight stand. So I didn't even bother unboxing that one. Um, here are the accessories. So there's a lot less compared to the Silver Centurion suit. Uh, there's just one uh, uh, torso replacement parts and different hand sculpts. So that's that's really about it. And the main focus on, on this figure is definitely just the repainted suit itself in this blue silver colored toning. So let's have a quick 360 on this figure so that you can enjoy all the details on this suit. It's really just the repaint of the Silver Centurion. All the armor details are really the same. You will see it in the mint when I put the Silver Centurion next to it but the paint scheme itself is really well done. Especially the silver parts are extremely shiny. It's not like a totally chrome look, but uh, the paint, the silver paint that they use is really bright and has a lot of reflection on it. A lot more than actually on the Silver Centurion. The blue tones are a bit more matte or flat, but it looks really high quality. Of course the triangular shaped arc corrector that you got on the Silver Centurion is also present here. And then here we have a lot of different silver plates going on on the torso and ab area. And this also continues down below into the leg sections. So what you can notice on this uh, figure is there's some heavy usage on weathering effects all over the suit so you see some scratches here and there but there are also some highlighted brown areas from heavy blaster um, impacts or something and for example if we pan down to the legs also here are some dirty stains and down below there are some areas where you probably have a, a wet section from the blaster packs on the legs so there's a lot of stuff going on on the blue and silver parts and also on the helmet itself there are some streaks here and there it's not totally clean also here on the side there you see a, quite a blast mark so 
So then of course I will show you the LED effects. So here below the top cover of the helmet there you find a switch to put the lights on. Um, the batteries are a bit of a pain in the ass to get into the sock because it's quite a deep battery slot and on the back side it's much easier. So this is like this backpack section you just flip it off there's a switch and here we go. So this is also the uh, battle damage torso part that I put on to the figure and as you can see the details are really nice there. Then of course you have two uh, LED switches in the hand so these battery sockets are just below here. Just the usual stuff nowadays with the Iron Man Hot Toys releases. So then of course, as being a repaint of the Silver Centurion, you also get these two Vibranium um, blades here for the forearm gauntlets. They also don't fit in every piece, so there are two hands that don't have the possibility to slide the blade in. But you have the fisted one and the articulated hands that are put on here. There they will work. It's basically just the same deal as on Silver Centurion but it looks still extremely cool. So in the thing in retrospective with other recent Iron Man releases I have to say that the flexibility in terms of the arm articulation is a bit limited. You can't really put the arms too much inward. So there's a bit of limitation in terms of the arm articulation that we didn't have with other recent Iron Man, even diecast releases. So it's a bit strict in terms of the uh, articulation. So and here we go with the comparison of Blue Steel on the left, Mark 30 and Mark 33, which is the Silver Centurion classic red silver colored suit on the right hand side. Quite a hard decision which one is better for me. If you have the chance to own both, just get both because they will just look amazing next to each other. I observed that on the uh, Silver Centurion the joints got a bit loose but other than that it's still in very good quality. Also the waist area here which is actually a rubber part also on Blue Steel it's a rubber part st stood in the same um, paint quality so there was no uh, like pink paint situation like we had on the earlier suits and overall I think you can see that on the torso area there's a bit more silver plating going on where here on the uh, classic silver insurance suit it's uh, more plain and uh, a lot of more usage of red colors but overall I think I'm pretty happy with the purchase on this one of course for a repaint it's quite a hefty price uh, Expect to pay about 300 US dollars if you want it right now from Hong Kong but other than that if you're a hardcore Iron Man collector, I think it's well worth the, the purchase. Alright guys, that's about it for this video review on Blue Steel. I hope you enjoyed it. For me, as an Iron Man collector, a decent purchase and I hope it helps you for decide whether you get it or not. So, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye guys.